Hi Sweetians, welcome back to Sweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Sweetieville. I am Sweetie Pie, and today we are back with a mod with me. So in today, there is several updates that have happened. Um, if you're not on Discord or Twitter, you probably haven't seen them. Um, I'm not on it that much, so I didn't see them until my game started crashing, and I'm like, oh my god, why am I crashing so much? Well, because I haven't updated anything. So, in today's, we're just going to go over a few things of what I have updated. And so, if you've been following me along with this mod with me, then you have most of these mods and the ones you don't have that I have downloaded in my break time from my um, medical issues, then I will be going over those really quickly as well today so that you can catch back up with me. So... Little Miss Sam had an update. Let's get to her. She had an update of all of these, so if you have any of them, then you're gonna want to re-download them. That is the auto employees forced to leave foster family, live in business, more viable venues and new venue types, more visitors, my pets and unlock doors unlock locked doors for chosen sims um i don't have any of those in my game but i do have this one these are all updated as well the ask to cook bake grill mix drink ask to upgrade autonomous gardening and experimental foods more serving options and better mealtime menus new vampire app power is able to eat human food and able own mirror reflection stop hissing and more and then she has some translations down below as well so um there's are the atm cards with now real credit function first love better families go for a walk with more pets and retail overhaul so if you have any of those, you are going to want to update them because with the new um, Star Wars pack, it took a lot of them out. So make sure you guys are updating before you're having a lot of crashes. So the ones I have downloaded, let me get back up here, is we've had to do the Ask Cook Bake Grill Mix Drink and Ask to Upgrade and go for a walk with more pets which is a rabbit hole but it fills their needs so those are the ones that um, we have updated in our game here the new MC command center 7.4.0 is out so you would go to debtor pool site and download that as well we did the MC command center all modules 7.4.0 zip and the MC Woohoo script and package 7.4.0 zip. So those are downloaded as well. If you have UI cheat extensions, which if you're following me, you do, you're going to need to re download that as well, as that had a update from the Journey to Batu patch. So that is UI cheats extension version 1.19 zip. With this, I did go ahead and download, let me get to it on his site here. Do, do, do. Where are you? Oh, I passed it. I did go ahead and update my Sims 4 create a sim cast columns. I do have three columns in my game right now. So I did go ahead and update that as well, even though it didn't say it. I was having some funky things in create a sim, so you never know. Then I updated tool, which is a new thing I have downloaded. So if you have been following this mod folder with me. This is some, one of the things that I downloaded in my break time 
when I was doing my medical recovery. So you're going to want to download this. I will leave all these links down below in the description box, so make sure you open it and make it easier for yourself. But I went ahead and downloaded this. This is a great tool. You can move things around that you could move before. You can play with things. It's very, very, very helpful. I love it in building. So I do use this not as often as some people, but I do use it. Then I downloaded Kwai Stacy's The Explorer Mod. She has that back out, so I will link that below. And that just gives you a rabbit hole places to go explore with, and you can do all these different things, and it just gives you something for your sims to do um, more than the game gives. So it, it's really nice. You can send them for storytelling and stuff. It really helps. Then I downloaded Kwai Stacy's The Life Decider mod which is a really good mod because sometimes when you're starting out the new sim you don't want to start from scratch you want to do like a little story but you've already created the sim then this will create a story for you it'll give them a diploma it'll change their friends it'll do all sorts of things but um, it will decide a whole bunch of stuff and you can choose to decide it so I have the pack in where I have to manually hit it for it to do it not that it does it on its own so I didn't want that one so make sure when you do it you guys pay attention that you get the right one that you are looking for if you want it to autonomously do it then you can do that but I wanted the no autonomy version and I clicked the add free right here when you download her when you go to her page this is the links I'm going to give you so you can get all of Kwai Stacy's mods if you want them. You're going to have to click I understand in order for you to see all of her mods and on her page. So she has a bunch of stuff on here. Kwai Stacy is really good. I would recommend any of her mods if you're interested in them. So let's bring up our folders. So you want to bring up your mods folder in your game which we've went over several times how to bring that up and then I have my download so I have everything in already you would just want to make sure that you take it from here you make a file folder you extract here and then you put it in your game over here so everything is in everything is good make sure here yes so you want to make sure your MC command center and your um, MC woohoo are not deep in a folder you just want to put it straight in your mods folder same with your UI cheats and same with the tool you do not want to put it inside an extra folder you just want to put the folder you made and put it in here and that is it the next thing we are going to download is the better build by stability patch by twisted mexi this is a new thing that has just come out and has been recently released for um, free so you can get this now it was under just patreon um, but you want to scroll all the way down if you want an overview of stuff or you want to see little miss sam Little Miss Simsy, sorry, mod review. You can watch her as well. Um, I'm not going to do a complete mod review over it. I'm not going into it. I'm just showing you how to download it. But you're going to click here. It's going to download. We're going into our downloads and bringing up our folder. As I've taught you guys all the time, rename. Control C to copy it, new folder, Control V to paste it, and then you're going to put this in here. So that way when you open it, which my opener is ExpressZip, you can get that for free. 
and you just click extract here you gotta click a couple things but then it just extracts and so I'm gonna take this folder that we just created and I'm gonna put it in here so that it's not anywhere near deep and there we go um, one mod I forgot to mention that I did get during the break as well is Scarlet's mods it's her sim city loans so this is a great mod because if your sims ain't got the money and you want them to move or whatever and you want it to be realistic and you want them to pay for it like they have a mortgage then you can go to your computer you can take a loan out for a bunch of different amounts of money um, it's all listed right here so you can take as low as a thousand dollars if you just want to buy something and as high as five hundred thousand if you want to move you can change the payments amount and then you get this little thing in your folder in your inventory on your sim and they just have to make the payments and then when it's done you destroy the little package and it's good but you just go all the way down here and you download here I already have it in my game so I'm not going to click download but it's a really great mod and helps it be a little bit more realistic and so your sims can accomplish what you want them to accomplish if you're too impatient to wait so I do have this in here as well so I hope that answers all your questions if not leave the questions down below for me I'll answer them as fast as I can and until next time, all my Zweetians out there, have a Zweetie-licious day. Bye, guys!